All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to skin back this leg right here. Like I said, you just right underneath, you pull on the hide, you move it on down. See? Just like that. Now, right here, you're getting into the leg, so you got to change directions a little bit. Now, there's some meat you can trim off there for uh, grind. Uh, so you don't, you know, you don't waste everything, but, uh, and be a good steward of everything. Anyway, here we go. Uh, then you just come right down to the, to the leg, like that. Uh, same thing here. Try not to cut too much out of there. Try to preserve as much meat as you can. Uh, like some of this breast meat. Like I said, that makes for grind or you know uh, something like that and anyway uh so we're going to continue on around it's got it skinned down pretty good around that leg all right now we're coming down to the back side all right the idea the reason i hang them upside down like this is because this this uh, and i skin them like this is it keeps the carcass cleaner uh you have a lot of woolly hair on sheep uh, and contrary to popular belief uh, not all sheep are white <laughs> as a matter of fact the vast majority of sheep in the world are, are different uh, colors so this is just something now it's a tail you can save that if you want you know you can skin that back uh, and you can skin out that tail if you like. Uh, that's how you do that. Continue to some people like the tail. It's a good uh, consomme for soups, uh, you know, broth and stuff. Uh, here you go. You know. Anyway, that's just kind of gives you an idea. Um, that you can actually skin that tail out. There's usually a joint in there somewhere where you can uh, keep the rest. Of it. All right. Okay. Now, as we're still going along here, skinning along the back side. Brother Victor, you got a spectator? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Had another knife, you wouldn't be a spectator long, I can tell you that. <laughs> and it's a good cold day. Anytime the temperature's down in the low 40s, you can hang outside for aging or drying out. Uh, preferably upper 30s, but... Uh, uh, as long as it's in the low 40s and the nighttime temperatures fall down into the 30s, uh, you'll be just fine hanging for several days. Now, sheep don't generally hang as good as beef, so you really want to usually get them in the in the pan or, or in the uh, freezer and cut up within a few days. Okay? You can also tug on the, once you get it down off of the legs... You can tug the uh, the hide, and uh, that will also help it come off. Try to stay as close to the meat without cutting into the meat as possible. Uh, you're always you're going to nick the meat up a little bit, you know. But uh, and then what that does is uh, it keeps the hair uh, uh, limits the amount of hair that comes in contact with the carcass, okay? And then what, what's there, you can usually rinse off or pick a few hairs off. Uh, and that's the, how that ball rolls. So anyway, here we go. Again, knife's starting to get a little dull because I went through that tail. Uh, again, uh, like I said, the hanging weather's 40s, 30s, 
Uh, sheep usually can hang three, four days, and they're pretty good. Deer you can let hang a week uh, or, or even longer if the temperatures stay favorable. So this is where uh, you cut through the joint. If you want to remove the leg, you cut around the joint, right through the joint, and it should break right off. Okay? Just like that. Okay? And, you know, I mean, I'm making it look easier than probably than what it is, but I've probably done thousands of these things. Uh, and then they're not always cooperative. There's a, a little bit of a, a joint there, of course. It's meniscus, I don't know what they call it. The half of the knee. <laughs> and it should cut right on through. What you want to do is you want to keep skinning this thing right up just about to the ears. Okay, and 